Hello, my name is Ryan. And I'm Sarah. And we are the Impasa Student Affairs Representatives for the Physician Assistant Class of 2020. 2020 will mark 10 years since the first class of graduates from McMaster's PA program began joining the growing community of Canadian physician assistants. Physician assistants in Canada are facing the same common misconceptions about the profession. From spending our days strictly doing administrative tasks to being asked, how long until you're a doctor? Therefore, we decided to address some of these common misconceptions told by McMaster PA graduates. This video is intended to inform and advocate about the PA role within the healthcare system. On behalf of the class of 2020, we hope you enjoy. calling about your upcoming appointment next week. A physician assistant or PA is a healthcare provider who works with a licensed supervising physician or a group of physicians to provide healthcare and extend the care of that physician. In Ontario, PAs perform controlled acts through delegation via a direct order or through established written medical directives. Therefore, PAs perform a variety of different clinical tasks, including taking patient history, performing a physical examination, ordering and interpreting investigations, communicating a diagnosis, formulating a treatment and management plan, patient education, prescribing medications, and assisting in surgery. PAs also perform different procedures such as suturing, setting a fracture, casting, splinting, injections, skin biopsies, and so much more. Thank you for coming in today. Do you have any more questions? No, I don't have any questions. Um, I was wondering though, how much longer do you have left till you become a doctor? Canadian certified physician assistants are individuals who have completed PA school and successfully challenged the PA certification exam. Physician assistants are trained as medical generalists meaning they can work in a variety of medical and surgical specialties. PAs are not physicians, nor are they training to become physicians. McMaster University's PA program is a 24-month program that utilizes a combination of didactic and self-directed learning. The first year of the program is a problem-based learning curriculum. Students learn in small, case-based tutorial groups. They learn from large group sessions and clinical skills classes which use both simulated and standardized patients. The first year students also have the opportunity to do longitudinal placements where they gain valuable clinical exposure. The second year of the program, students go on to their clerkship rotations, which are in a variety of medical specialties, family medicine, emergency medicine, internal medicine, psychiatry, pediatrics, and more. Have you heard back from medical school yet? Yeah, I did. Um, I didn't get in, unfortunately, but I did get into physician assistant school, and actually, I have my letter right here. Oh, so, good. Yeah. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Are you still going to reapply to medical school? Oh, no, definitely. PA school is just a backup. It's important for people to understand that PA school is not at all a backup for people that really want to get into medical school. PA school is not at all a stepping stone. 
Although if you speak to a lot of PAs, they may have at some point considered a career in medicine, going through the medical route, the length of time it takes, the amount of money that it takes, the commitment that's involved uh, to pursue a career uh, as a physician didn't really appeal to us. A PA career has a lot of advantages and a lot of flexibility when you compare it to a career uh, as a physician. For a lot of people that pursue a career as a PA, the amount of time in school is a key factor. Because you get out and you're avoiding that formalized residency training, a lot of PAs would argue that you can achieve a better work-life balance as a PA earlier on in your life. Another very interesting part about being a PA is the fact that you have a lot of lateral mobility. You can actually switch between medical specialties with uh, relative ease. And also a lot of people take advantage of this where they might work in two different settings simultaneously. Only about 2% of the McMaster PA program ends up going to medical school. The PA program is also extremely competitive to get into. For the PA class of 2021, there were about 730 applicants for a total of 24 seats, and the admissions competitiveness is beginning to rival that of the McMaster Medical Program. In total, I think we've had about 5,000 applicants uh, for 261 spots since the inception of the PA program, which equates to about a 5% acceptance rate. Right now, there's about 700 PAs working in Canada, uh, but there's about over 130,000 working just south of us in the US. It's also a rapidly expanding profession in the European countries as well. Year after year, the PA profession is ranked quite highly amongst news outlets and news reports uh, with regards to job satisfaction, growth, salary. Recently, it was ranked number three on the US News and World Report's jobs list of uh, uh, best jobs for 2019. Not only is this profession and rapidly growing, but it shows you that the people who are pursuing uh, a career as a PA are actually quite satisfied with their choice. All right, Taylor, that's about it for me. I'm just gonna go grab your prescription and then the doctor will be in in a little bit to talk to you for a second. Okay, thank you. Right, no problem. So Taylor, this is my supervising physician, Dr. Wines. I uh, just want to talk to you for a second. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So I hear after speaking to Saf that it sounds like you're having some classic UTI symptoms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this something that you've taken antibiotics for before? Yeah, I took it once before. And do you have any allergies to antibiotics? I'm sorry, I thought I told Saf all of this stuff. What, what's the point of having a PA? Integrating a physician assistant into healthcare settings is beneficial for patients, physicians, and for healthcare spending. In emergency departments, a PA can help reduce wait times by up to 50%, whereas in a surgical setting, integrating a PA onto the team has been shown to reduce wait time to procedure by about 14 weeks. In the primary care setting, PAs can manage most of the presenting complaints without directly needing a consulting physician, and 95% of physicians who work with PAs agree that it's helpful for patients in reducing wait times, improving efficiency, as well as helpful for physicians to reduce burnout and reduce the workload. It is estimated that by the year 2030, PAs could save the healthcare system up to $1 billion. Hello. Hi. Hi. My name is Saf. I'm one of the physician assistants working here today. Oh, you're a medical student? Oh, no, sorry. I'm a physician assistant. Have you heard of those? Yeah, they're the same as nurse practitioners, right? Although PAs and nurse practitioners share similar roles and responsibilities, there, there are distinct differences in their training capabilities, and function. PA training uses both didactic and clinical learning, employing the same medical model as physicians. PAs are trained as medical generalists and can work in any medical or surgical specialty for which the supervising physician practices. The PA role is not designed to eliminate physicians or MP physicians. Rather, it's designed to fill gaps in our healthcare system. Abyss Medicine continues to trend towards delivering care using interdisciplinary team approaches. PAs, MDs, and NPs can function together to provide optimal care. 
With access to care and budget constraints continually putting pressure on our healthcare systems, especially in rural or underserviced areas, PAs offer a cost-effective solution to many healthcare issues. On behalf of the class of 2020, we are excited to join the relatively small but very mighty family of McMaster PA graduates. Many of those who have graduated before us have gone on to be great leaders and mentors. We look forward to playing our role in the evolution of the PA profession within Canada and witnessing what great things both past and future McMaster PA graduates do.